11 o'clock. It is time now for the weather magician with PJ Wiggins. The late night report. Tuesday, July 9th, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Our current conditions at 11 o'clock in North Massachusetts. Temperature at 70 degrees with a humidity of 90%. Wind speed east about 3 miles per hour. Barometer 3.07 inches. 2.67 degrees and a visibility of 8 miles. All right. We're going to take a look at our radar scope around three genetic shows. A couple of little rain showers off the Nantucket coast, southeast of the Nantucket coast. And a couple of little rain showers in west, northwestern Long Island. A couple of little, never little rain showers in the New York metropolitan area and Staten Island, stretching around in, the, in North New Jersey and North Coastal New Jersey. And a couple of popcorn cluster showers in eastern New York between Albany and Syracuse and around Utica. How do you do a summer and a couple of rain showers and storms up in then northern ready. UP of Michigan uh, and uh, up in the northern UP of Michigan and, and off the northwestern peninsula of Michigan and a couple of rain showers in western Ontario stretching into northern Ohio from Toledo to Fort Cleveland and a couple of bobbish showers from Columbus stretching into Youngstown and stretching in western Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh and stretch it down in the north, east and west Virginia, and north, northwestern Virginia. And a couple of showers and storms in northwestern North Carolina, stretching in northern South Carolina, northeastern Georgia. And to the west of us, a couple of blobs of showers and storms from central Kansas, stretching in southern Colorado, southeastern Colorado, down in New Mexico, and stretching into eastern Arizona, down in northern Mexico. And a couple of little rain showers in northern Texas, searching in southern Oklahoma. And middle of Texas, middle western Texas, be showers. And a couple of little rain showers in southern Saskatchewan, stretching into west, southwestern Manitoba. Alright, we're going to take a look at our satellite photography shows. A heavy concentration of clouds stretching from North Mexico, stretching down to Arizona, New Mexico, down to the Four Corner region, stretching into northern Texas Panhandle, western Oakland Panhandle, stretching into central Kansas, into southern Nebraska, and into Iowa, and into Wyoming. And this is a big blob of clouds from Louisiana, stretching out into Mississippi, and the Gulf Coast, stretching into northern Georgia, into the Carolinas, and into Western Virginia, West Virginia, stretching into Indiana, and Ohio. And stretching into Canada. And a couple of clouds stretching from New York, stretching out into New York City, into eastern New Jersey, up Delaware, and into South Carolina. Air. Alright, Rutch in the tropics, watching Chantal. Right now it's a tropical storm Chantel. Movement 28 miles per hour at 285 degrees. Wind speed 60 miles per hour. Wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour. Pressure 1009 millibars there. And it is south of Puerto Rico. And it's going to make a turn straight north into Haiti, stretching into eastern Cuba and stretching into Bahamas and into the southern United States coastline. And it's going to keep it stay a tropical storm and it's going to weaken into a tropical depression. All right. Hazardous weather outlook. Tonight, thunderstorms will linger in the evening hours. Some of the storms produce heavy rainfall, potential resulting in localized flooding. And areas of fog will build tonight with visibilities down to a quarter mile or less, gradually lifting when dissipating into Wednesday morning. And days 2 for 7, Wednesday through Monday. Thunderstorms will develop during the day Wednesday, potentially lingering into Thursday. Storms will be slow moving, and subsequently, the biggest threat will be heavy rain, which could return to a result in localized flooding. There is low confidence that such storms become severe. Should storms become severe, the main threat will be such storms will be strong to damage and wind. All right. Seven-day forecast goes like this. While you're sleeping over nine hours of the night, a chance of showers. Areas of fog after midnight. Otherwise, clouds, clouds, low in 6-7 degrees. Light south wind. Chance of precipitation, 30%. 
Wednesday at Chen Shah and Thunderstorms, some of the storms produce every rain. There is a fog before 9 a.m. and over the wires. Pulse of Costco is about 184 degrees, suffering about 6 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 50%. New rain formats so are less than a 10 foot inch, except for our mass possible in thunderstorms. Wednesday night, showers and thunderstorms likely mainly after 1 a.m. Um, some of the storms produce every rain. Touchy fog after 2 a.m. of us. Pulse of Costco is below 70 degrees, suffering about 10 to 14 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 60%. New rain formats are less than a 10 foot inch, except for our mass possible in thunderstorms. Thursday, showers and thunderstorms likely mainly before 1 p.m. Some of the storms produce every rain. Touchy fog before 11 a.m. Of us, plus guys were high in rain, 4 degrees southwest with about 8 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. New rain formats up between the 10th and the quarter inch, except for amounts of fossil and sandstorms. Further than that, slight chance of showers and sandstorms, summer storms produce every rain. Most of the plus guys were low in 65 degrees. Slight and variable wind becoming in the northwest part 6 miles per hour for 2 minutes. Chance of precipitation 20%. Friday, yes. Slight chance of showers and sandstorms, proper sand skies with high near 67 degrees. Chance of precipitation 20%. And Friday night will begin our light and tunnel with the some sunny skies. Sun on Friday night as most class skies on Friday night with a low in 63 degrees. Saturday, most of the sand skies high in 83 degrees. Sunday night, part of class skies low in 63 degrees. Sunday, most of the sand skies high in 86 degrees. Sunday night, part of class skies low in 65 degrees. Monday, part of the most of the sand skies high in 88 degrees. Monday night, part of class skies low in 68 degrees. And for Tuesday, most of the sand skies high in 88 degrees. Peter's, whatever is all that. Another unsettled day on tap for tomorrow. This is PJ Wilson. I have a good day with a good positive tune. Good night with a good positive tune. I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning. Good night.